In November of 2019, shortly after the release of Worlds Collide, Fantasy Flight Games announced a new event called Store Leaderboards, a weekly series of tournaments where the stats of each player were tracked in the Master Vault. At the end of each month, the top four players would receive a deck that contained a card with alternate artwork. Of course, these decks are very few and far between, and the alternate art cards are extremely rare. This video will cover all six cards that received alternate artwork for these store leaderboard events. The first of these cards is Not Finished With You, a fantastic creature recursion card that reads Play. Shuffle any number of creatures from your discard pile into your deck. This is a pretty popular dis action that ended up receiving alternate artwork in the form of this. Honestly, the alt art for this card really changes up the entire feel of the card for me. The original artwork sort of depicts what looks like a defeated creature being drawn up from an abyss to fight again, while the alternate artwork looks more like an innocent Star Alliance crew member surprised by the tentacles wrapping around him, about to drag him into the darkness. The next card is Hawk, a popular Shadows action card that was sadly only around for one set. Before we even get into the alt art, let's take a look at this card's flavor text. It quotes Selwyn the Fence, who says, Orb of Wonder? Best I can do is two bits. This is super cool because it teases at another card in Worlds Collide, an anomaly called Orb of Wonder, that later showed up in Mass Mutation as a Sanctum Artifact. That's neat in of itself, but Hawk also has an alternate artwork version, which is this. Quite a difference. In the alt art, it looks like a Shadows character with some sort of cybernetic knife arm is cutting into a safe box to steal what's inside. I personally prefer the original art more just for the color scheme, but the alt art is also very neat. The third card is from House Brobnar, Tremor. This card, which was in all three sets that Brobnar has been in up to date, stuns up to three creatures when you play it down, and was chosen to receive alternate artwork for the store leaderboards. It looked like this. The coloration of this picture reminds me almost of other Brobnar cards such as Barehanded or maybe Blood Money, and as a result I'm not a huge fan of this alt art. I think I prefer the original just because I've never been a huge fan of the blue color palette that accompanies some Brobnar cards, but that's just my personal preference. The next two cards are both from House Untamed, and the first of these is Unsuspecting Prey. Right off the bat, let me tell you that I love the original artwork on this card just because of the two fuzzy groans on it, but the alt art also looks pretty... cool? I guess? I mean, what's happening in this picture? That crazy shark thing looks pretty neat and it's leaping out of the sand to eat a... literal squirrel? I mean, alright, it's neat because it's rare alternate artwork, but you guys are just going to have to let me know what you think of this one down in the comments, because I think it's kind of weird. The second Untamed card is Unnatural Selection, one of Untamed's soft board wipes, and this is the alternate art for it. And would you look at that, it has a Nifflipe on it. Recently I uploaded a video called The Niffle Saga, and it's all about each and every card in the game that features Niffle artwork on it. However, as I was making that video, I didn't think for a second to analyze the alternate artwork of cards to see if they had any Niffle cameos. Thanks to an incredible viewer of mine, I was alerted to this fact, and now here we are with the alternate art for Unnatural Selection that has a Niffle on it. It also features another Star Alliance guy, this one choking to death on the atmosphere of this part of the Crucible because the Niffle stole his helmet. I definitely prefer the alt art over the original art for Unnatural Selection. The final card with alternate artwork is Axiom of Grisk a wonderful board wipe belonging to House Saurian. Axiom of Grisk allows you to ward a creature before the mass destruction happens, and sure enough, that's what seems to be happening in the alternate art for this card. A group of Saurians all protected by an impenetrable force field, which is exactly what warding does. There is quite a contrast between these two pictures, and in the end they're both super cool pieces of art, which I think are needed for a card with such a powerful ability. And that finishes off the set of cards with alternate store leaderboard artwork. All around, these cards are pretty neat, and the alt art does not disappoint in the slightest. I think it's a super cool concept, and I hope it's something that gets expanded upon in future sets. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all later.